Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. Uh, we are looking at a beautiful day. We will get up to about 52 in sunshine, pretty mild. We could get a little rain and, dare I say, no. a little bit of, uh, n- nothing that's going to... St- just hold yeah. on. Nothing that should be crazy or stick or get too much, but you might get low 30s, like high 20s, low 30s tonight, and you could get a little precipitation that could turn to snow, but that ends on the overnight, and then you wake up tomorrow's fine. We're going to be back into 50, and it's going to be fine, but what I'm seeing on News 12 is like a little oh. little blip on the radar here overnight tonight. We'll see. And, um, and by the way, I don't know if you saw, but they're calling for a pretty windy and rainy Saturday, like a washout of a Saturday, Ken. Yes, I did yeah. see that. I did. Oh. Well, what are you going to do? I'm yeah. going to stay home and I'll move. That's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm before you. Yeah, go ahead. You know, um, Jackie, my daughter-in-law, her and I have become so close. We, we talk every day. We're texting. We're sending pictures. We're doing everything. I really am growing to love her more and more. It feels like I gave birth to a daughter. Don't make me her. cry. Do not make me cry before 9 a.m. I don't like to cry before 9 a.m. <laughs> I can cry right now because, yeah, it's another gift I've been given, and I feel so blessed. So give for, and I mean this really sincerely, I want to know for the audience who may be going through the same thing or about to go through the same thing, about to have a grandchild, whatever the case is, their son is getting married, whatever they're going through, tell us how you noticed this, how it happened, what you guys do to foster this relationship. Maybe it will help other people, Candy. Well, uh, having had a pretty bossy mother-in-law myself who said things that were inappropriate, I vowed I would never be one of those mother-in-laws. Um, so it's like walking a fine line, like you do with teenagers when you're raising children, you have to be careful where you step in and where you stay quiet. Most often I was staying quiet, but now, you know, we just get closer and closer. First of all, we have our love of Casey in common. She adores him. I Mm -hmm. adore him. And now we have Maeve, who we are head over heels for, obviously. And I just love being with her. She is, she's interested in in my uh, opinions. <laughs> oh, is she really? To, yeah, somebody actually wants to listen to me. No, but we really get along great. We really do. And yesterday we were talking on the phone, then we were texting, then she sent me some pictures. I adore her. So she's asking you for advice on things. Well, we laugh because we both agree that Maeve is perfect, the most beautiful <laughs> child on the earth. Oh, um, my. A genius. There'll mm. be no smarter. Mm. And, you know, we feel good about this, even though I'm on the radio saying this, because you don't want to, you know, I don't want to walk in and say to a group of people, I have the most beautiful granddaughter in all the land. She's a genius. She's the best baby ever born. Because people might take offense to that. You know what I mean? <laughs> you think, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some other grandmas out there, some bubbies might uh, have an but issue with that. That's the beauty. Jackie and I can just go crazy over her, and we both love it. So, yeah. Now She's my extra something-something. Uh, d- does it uh, help that you're um, not over there that often? They get a little bit of space? You think that helps the relationship? I'm being serious. I do. I do. The last thing, I mean, you, you know, you lived with your mother-in-law. Yeah. So you were very, very close and you got along, thankfully, and you like her to visit. And of course the artist known as Tony, but I'm sure there comes a time when you're sitting there and saying, you know, I wish we were just our little family right now. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, space oh, is a yeah. very good thing. There are times when it's time to go home. To go exactly. back to Delaware. Thank you exactly. very much. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So yeah. with the good, you know, you, you ease in, you ease out. That's how you do it. Yeah, well, it sounds like you have things under control over there, so that's yeah. good. Yeah, I might, I might, I might one day love her more than my own son. Uh, well, <laughs> that's the goal, isn't it? To love your grandchildren more than your own uh, cat. You know, like there is no correct answer there. I feel like that is a uh, like if you go down the road where you love your granddaughter more than your own children, it, it feels okay. That feels okay. I think. 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I <laughs> right. think so. Definitely. <laughs> it's, Absolutely. It's, it's, some. I mean, it's weird to say, but there's something about that that is. Uh, it's be- It's until you experience it, you really can't put it into words, and even wow. after, it's hard to put into words because it's feelings you never thought you'd feel again. It's it's an amazing thing. Very nice. Well, I'm glad you're happy. It's really nice. It is. I am too. It, you know, the old fathead, you know, 10 years ago would have made fun of you for this probably. Uh, but no, I am, uh, I'm, I'm all about it, Candy. I, I love it. I love that you're happy. There is no, like, I, I can't, there's not even a sense, a little piece of me that could be sarcastic about this. It's a beautiful well, thing. you've known me for, through my ups and downs, hasn't always been a big party. You know what that, I mean? That's right. That's right. So glad you're happy. Thank um, you. You should celebrate today because it's National Pita Day. Have a pita sandwich or I love pitas. I love pita chips. I love them. Mm Mm-hmm. It's National Nevada Day. Uh, Obviously, Vegas and other cities. You've been out there a few times, Candy? Yes, I've been out there. Yes, I have. Uh, It's National Vietnam War Veterans Day, and uh, well-deserved. Today is the day that uh, the final troops uh, removed themselves from uh, South Vietnam. So... Uh, March 29th, 1973, Uh, we celebrate today. Uh, It is National Little Red Wagon Day today. Uh, My kids had a little red wagon. What do they call that, a radio flyer? What about Maeve? She'll be getting one, I'm sure. All right. Quite ready for one, but yes, every kid should have one. I'm making sure. I used to put them both in the little, and and walk to the playground with them in the little, oh. Ah, so cute. I, I remember. Memories, sweet memories. It's National Lemon Chiffon Cake Day. Don't know if I've ever had any of that. Well, I'm, looks you know what? Good. The older I get, the more I love lemon. What's happening? Uh, I like lemon on my food. I don't necessarily love lemon cake, but I like lemon on the food. Yeah. All right. Um, it's National Mom and Pop Business Owners Day. That is important, Candy. Very important. It is so important to absolutely shop local. Shop in the mom and pop stores. They're the best. Backbone of the society. Yes. Absolutely. And uh, finally, it's Manatee Appreciation Day. Oh, who doesn't love a manatee? Isn't that like the uh, the state animal of Florida or something? Or isn't when the manatee? When we were going on a cruise and we flew to Florida and we stayed mm-hmm. overnight and we were at a hotel by the water and we were walking, having coffee and a huge. Manatee was right there in the water saying, good morning. Good yeah. morning, people. Yeah, it was really great. Gentle giants, they're, they're known as. So, you know? yes, I agree. Gentle giants. They spend most of their time eating, sleeping, and traveling, just so you know. Hey, that's the life we want. I know. We want, if we could only be a manatee. We're getting there. <laughs> close, close. You got that right. Uh, Candy, a no-kill animal shelter in Kansas City posted a six-minute video this month to get more cats adopted, and it worked. They wrote down different traits on scrap paper, like loves to cuddle or great with other cats, and they had employees pick them from a hat and tell people which cat had each trait. Um, The video racked up over 400,000 likes, and now almost all of the cats in the video have been adopted. Love that. I love that. That is somebody thinking with their brain at that place. How about that? A nonprofit in Minneapolis called American Service just sent a bunch of volunteers to Mississippi this week to help the tornado victims. And seven of the volunteers are refugees from Ukraine. They, yeah, they all arrived here in the last three months and wanted to do something to give back. And so they're Love headed it. to Mississippi to help. That's nice. It's amazing. See, really good people. There are really good people everywhere. We only yes. ever hear about the horrible ones. That's right. And finally, the owner of a used car dealership in Wisconsin turned a weird misunderstanding into a good deed. His name is Joe Green. He owns a place called Budget Motors. Started getting bad reviews and didn't know why. Turned out they were actually meant for another dealership that recently changed its name. They changed their name to Budget Motors after a customer left her ID behind an employee was caught destroying it for some reason. So when Joe heard what the other dealership did, he found the woman online, asked her to stop by his budget motors and gave her a free car What? and made T-shirts that said, here, we're the real budget motors. 
And, uh, yeah, so somebody basically took this guy's business name, and he was getting bad reviews for it, so he uh. made it clear that he was not that business, and he got a lot of good publicity, gave this woman a free car. Now, now yeah. business is booming for this guy. So I love that. That's yeah. good. Turning uh, lemons into lemonade there, sort of. Uh, Candy, I want you to have a great rest of your Wednesday. I plan on enjoying this gorgeous day. Yeah, uh, please do. Going to be nice. Get up to about 52, sunny. Might be an outdoor tennis day for myself. We'll oh, see how I it goes. I want to see a video of you actually moving on the tennis courts. I have to have a third party there to take well, video. Uh, Abigail, could you step in? Elijah, anybody? Dana? Yeah. Maybe. Charlie, come May on. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, all right. We will uh, try to figure that out. Thanks to Ryan and Amanda, our great producers. Uh, we have, uh, of course, I'm here till noon. Uh, Jay Letterman, noon to three. Jim Voice Guy O'Brien for the drive home three to six. And uh, enjoy this wonderful weather today. Candy will reconvene tomorrow morning. It'll be Thursday already. Yes, it, indeed. Uh, weeks are flying by. Flying. Just crazy let's hit the roads my country 96.1 fathead and candy in the morning weekdays 6 to 10 a.m on my country 96.1